Hello and welcome to the Matrix video tutorial series. Today we will be talking about how to use the map search. In this video we will be talking about what is searching with the map and how to use it, how to draw shapes on the map and the different shapes, how to remove shapes from the map, how to use shapes to exclude areas instead of include areas, as well as some examples on how to use the map search. Map searching is used when you want to search in geographic areas without being restricted by districts and subdistricts. You can use it to both include and exclude areas with your search, and it can be used for your criteria for your auto emails and save searches for your clients. To search with a map in Matrix, first we are going to go to our residential search. We can then either define a criteria to search for first, or go straight to the map and define our areas to look in. For this example, we are going to go straight to the map to define our areas. To get to the map, we either click on the map search link, or click on the map tab. This will take us to a map that displays all listings that match our current criteria. By default, normal criteria will be just active and conditionally sold. If there are too many properties on the map to display individually, they will instead be clustered into pins. If we hover over one of these clusters, it'll show us in a blue outline the area from which those pins were gathered. If we click, it will zoom us in, and if we click again, it'll zoom us in to where they can be displayed individually. The color of the pin indicates the status of the listing. Green pins are active listings, orange pins are conditionally sold, and red pins are sold. To define the geographic areas that we want to search on our map, we draw shapes on the map. The map gives us three different shapes that we can use to define our areas. First shape is the circle, the second is the rectangle, and the third is the polygon. To draw a circle, we're going to click on the circle icon, click where we want the center of our circle to be, and then pull away from the center. We then click again to set that shape on the map, and now our search will only show results that are within this circle. Drawing a rectangle is very similar. Click on the rectangle icon, click where we want our first corner to be, pull away, and then click again to set that shape on the map. Now our search results will be showing us everything within this rectangle and within the circle that we drew before. The final shape that we have to work with is the polygon. This one works a little bit differently than the other two shapes. We click on the polygon icon. The first click places our first corner, and then every click after places a corner of the shape. To set this shape on the map, we click on our red dot. Now our search will be showing everything from within this polygon, within the rectangle that we drew, and within the circle that we drew. To delete a shape that we have put on the map, we hover over the red dot and click Delete Shape. This will remove that shape from the map. If we need to delete all shapes from the map, we can click the broom up here and that will remove all shapes from the map. Shapes can be used on the map to instead exclude areas from your search results instead of including areas for your search results. To exclude an area using a shape, hover over the red dot for the shape, and then click Exclude This Shape. Now the results for your search will show listings that match your criteria, but are not within the red shape. Shapes can be used to set up a search for your client and then used to create an auto email. 
we can draw a shape on the map, then set up a criteria, and then go to our results and use this criteria and that map location to create an auto email for our client. We can also use this to exclude areas from the same search. So we can draw a shape, exclude that shape, and now our results will show things from within this circle and not within that red area. And again, this can be used to create an auto email for your client. Here is another example of how to use the map search to create better searches for your clients. The board received a request from a member that they wanted to search for condos along the lakeshore, but not necessarily with a lakeshore road address. The board staff then helped the member create this map by drawing several polygons all the way up the lakeshore, and then set up the criteria for that search and use it for an auto email. This way the member could get an auto email to their client with their desired criteria and get all of the condos that were all the way along the lakeshore. That concludes this video in the Matrix video tutorial series, and now for a quick lesson recap. First we learned how to access the map for us to search. We go to the search page, and then we click on either the map search link or the map tab to be taken to the map. Remember that your criteria for your search can be set either before or after setting shapes on the map. We then learned how to draw the three different shapes on the map. First, we learned how to draw the circle. Click once where you want the center of the circle to be, then pull away from the center and click again to set that shape on the map. We then learned how to draw the rectangle. Click where you want the first corner of your rectangle to be, and then pull away from that corner. Click again to set that rectangle on the map. We then learned how to draw the polygon. Click where you want the first corner to be, and then every click after will place another corner for that polygon. To finish and set that shape on the map, click on the red dot. We then learned how to delete shapes from the map. Click on the red dot for the shape that you wish to delete, and then click on the delete shape icon. Finally, to delete all shapes, click on the broom icon. We then learned how to use a shape to exclude an area from a search. Draw the shape on the map and then click on the red dot for the shape to be excluded. Then click on the exclude shape link. Finally, to use a map for an auto email, we set the shapes on the map, set any other criteria for our client, go to the results screen, and then set up an auto email the same way we would normally set up an auto email. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact your friendly local board staff.